Two-way switching for lighting. The two-way switching used to control a load, like lighting system from two different locations. In this case, this person is going upstairs, and need to switch on the light, he will switch on from downside, and when reaching upside, he had to keep the light on, until going down again. The two-way switching allowing this person to control the lighting from the two ends, which will save power and efforts. Also two-way switching, could be used when more than one entrance and exit are available in the same room. Normally the bulb lights up, when electrical current passes through it. And the main function of any switch is to control the current flow, so it will control when the bulb will be on and when it will be off. For a normal switching process. In the normal switch, you will find two terminals in the back side. It's normally open contact, if you checked with multimeter, it will show open loop. If you flipped the switch, and made it on, the contact will be close. That means, if we connected the neutral wire to the bulb, and the line connected to the switch input, the switch output will be connected to the other bulb terminal. The bulb will not light up, unless someone flips the switch. And to switch off the bulb again you need to back to the same switch, and flip it again. The two-way switch from front side, it looks same as the normal switch, but from back side you will find three terminals, one is called common, and the others called L1 and L2. We can consider the common as an input, L1 and L2 the outputs. If you checked with your multimeter, you will find that the common is always closed with one side, and open with the other side. By flipping the switch, the status of the two contacts will be changed. The common will be closed with the other side, which will allow you to change the current flow pass, each time you are switching. To wire the circuit. We have two different methods to make the connection. Method 1, and it is the simplest way. We have the bulb, its first terminal connected directly to the neutral wire, and waiting for the line to light up. These are our two switches. Connect the line to the common of the first switch. Connect the bulb second terminal to the common of switch number 2. To make the connection between the two switches. Connect L1 from switch number 1 to L2 from switch number 2. Connect L2 from switch number 1 to L1 from switch number 2. For safety, the connections between the two switches must be done with same cable color as used in the line connections, follow the standard color code used in your area. For example, if in your area the brown cable is used for the line connections, the connections between the two switches also must be done with brown cables, because it could be live anytime. At the moment the electricity can pass through switch 1, but switch 2 breaks the circuit. Now flip switch 2, the circuit is completed and the bulb will light up. Flip switch 1, the bulb turns off because the circuit again broken. At the moment the switch 1 common is connected to L2. Electricity available at switch 2 L1. If we flipped again any switch, 1 or 2 the bulb will light up. Each time you will flip a switch the bulb status will be changed, from off to light up and vice versa. Method number 2. Connect the line to switch 1 L1. Connect switch 1 L2 with switch 2 L1. Connect both common terminals together. Connect switch 1 L1 with switch 2 L2. And to complete the circuit, connect switch 1 L2 to the bulb. If you flipped any switch the bulb will light up. After that each time you will flip a switch, the bulb status will be changed. 